There we go. All right, I'm Keon Brown checking in with some good friends of mine. Today I've got my friend Paulina Singer. Hello. How are you? <laughs> are you in New York? Yeah, I'm in Brooklyn. All right, cool. Look, we were talking about how I'm going to introduce her and all of that. I just I'm so grateful for you being a creator. Uh, and someone who is interested in changing the world. And I think that that's the best way to characterize you. And what do you think about that? Yes, that sounds great. I'm down. What are you working on now? What's, what are you important, what, what's important to you? What are you passionate about right now? Um, I really wanna, uh, I don't know if you say build or start or invest in a school but I'm not really sure how to begin, but it's, it's really all ideas right now. But recently I was thinking about like, well, if I'm really going to eventually actually make a school, I should be thinking about it now because that's a huge endeavor. So um, that something that I'm, you know, when you're in a phase where you're like, I know I can't make real a huge step yet, but I, I just need to brainstorm ideas. So my brain is in the place where like, okay, you're an educator or okay, you have to start calling yourself this now because you're doing this. That, I'm working on that with, with building a school and a certain way of, of teaching. And then um, music. I'm working on music right now. Too. Oh, really? And I'm also filming a pilot, but I don't know about it getting picked up. So you don't have to talk about that yet. What do you mean you don't know about it getting picked up? I'm... It's going right. to get picked up because that's what you putting out there. Well, then we'll talk about it when it's on TV. Okay. Okay. All right. We can do that. Okay. Well, you're an artist and creator. So uh, are you going to be teaching art, uh, acting? What are you going to be teaching at the school? No, I, I, I just think um, our school systems right now, mainstream school systems are flawed. Ideally, my, my school system would be mainstream, but mm. a big part of it is um, nature. And so... I feel like that, I don't know, I haven't really thought about like cities and stuff with the school, but, but I think I just want to teach um, what I think are basic life necessities. So um, our history, you know, more than 10,000 years after Africa has been developing. Thank you. Um, and our surroundings, so nature, how to use herbs, how to use plants, how to survive, you know, not like, not like, um, stranded survival, but, you know, just being a child and like knowing what kind of things you can't touch, you can touch, you can eat, you can't eat, um, sacred geometry, math, science. Mm. Um, I have a list. I didn't. I don't have it with me, but I actually just made a list the other day of all the things I want to teach. Oh, I love um, that. Well, and inside of that, I want. What do you say? The last thing you said. Consciousness. Consciousness. I think my main my main goal is to make it so that like by the time the kids get out into the actual world, they have enough enough knowledge of self that they can yes. take in a whole bunch of information and be like, okay, that's cool, but like, let me choose what I really resonate with instead of being brainwashed. Well, Paulina, what are three ways of being that you have utilized to gain the success or, or get to you to where you are now that you will share with the young people? Three ways of being. For me, you know, humble, urgent, responsible, humility, you know, urgency, responsibility. What are three that you have used to get to where you are today? Um, trust. Do you want me to explain each one or do you want me to just say them? Yeah, you can if you like. Um, trust, I think, is really important because there's going to be continuous output from the outside world. Everyone's constantly going to be telling you what they think. So to trust yourself, yourself and your intuition, but also the things that you are um, actively trying to make yourself. So ideas and um, yes. dreams, whatever you want to call them, trust in that stuff because it's the, that's your armor. You know, like everyone's always going to be saying different things. Mm -hmm. um, trust, 
communication. I feel like I'm yes. describing a relationship. Communication, <laughs> um, because it's it's really important. A lot of these things are with yourself. It's really important when you feel something to, I don't know, write about it or think about it or talk to someone about it uh, until you can have an understanding of, of what made you get in that situation, whether it be good or bad and and how not to do it again i feel like that's how you learn lessons if you're not communicating with yourself then you're never going to know how things affect you um and number three <laughs> um so many of them tie into trust and really trying mm -hmm. No, good. Trust, communication. I mean, those are good. And, and, oh, there's so many. Um, um. Well, while you're thinking about that, okay. <laughs> while you're thinking about that, I mean, so when people see you and they experience you, clearly uh, there is an interest in, you know, your energy and who you are and, and what your contribution to the planet is. Uh, how important is this quarantine, this time of reflection or time of isolation for you, a creative? Uh, what is it doing for you? Um, well, there are good days and bad days. Mm -hmm. But I think it's really, tra it translates to what's happening to the planet, I think. On one hand, you know, Mother Nature gets a break. Not Everyone's not out. There's not as many emissions. She gets to reset. And then on the other hand, people are dying and a lot of things are getting shut down and changing, not necessarily for the better. Um, and I think that that is, it, it, it's like, you have to, <clears throat> I don't want anyone to die, but yeah. in terms of life, things have to die for things to grow and vice versa. And so I think it, it the time right now is, um, letting things leave that aren't meant to be there. And you can see they're not meant to be there because you're by yourself, you're isolated. So you have, well, me, I'm, I don't have roommates right now. So you're isolated. So you, you can see what really bothers you, what you really care about and what you don't and um, change or reflect on those things. And then in the other hand of like having, of like things being able to rebuild because there's not so much going on. It's like sometimes people get really anxious. At the, uh, like me, I get really anxious about relaxation. I'm like, you should be doing work. You should be doing something, at least writing or brainstorming or something. And right now I'm like, I really don't care to do anything. I could sit in my house all day and like lay on the floor all day. And that's good for me. I need that because I have a You needed that. You know, yeah. So what's next without telling us about your, your, uh, what you're looking to pitch, but you know, where is your creative energy? What are you thinking about and dreaming about and putting on paper without telling all the details? Unless you want to. Um, I just have a lot of projects that I'm creating and I just, uh, I guess my focus right now is making sure because I am the biggest part of my creations in terms of actually making them, but there are so many people and things involved in the steps past me that yeah. I, right now I'm just focused on getting everything to the point where when I meet that opportunity to have it taken out of my hands into bigger hands or different hands that I'm ready. And so oh. that's music, a, pro a music project. I'm doing film projects of my own, like writing. Um, I wrote a short film, and then also all the all the activism projects, whether that whether that be self, because like I think a lot of activism stuff is self self stuff that I'm working on, or um, the school or fundraisers, stuff like that. I look forward to collaborating with you on that on the school piece. Um, yes. I yes, I, I saw. Um, self-made the story of um self-made on netflix madam oh. cj walker story that was amazing oh, yes yes um, I saw. what's a story that you would like to tell 
that has not been told. It might not have to, it doesn't have to be a person, place, or thing, but what's a storyline about our people possibly that has not been told yet? Well, I can't really say what hasn't been told yet, but what I, I guess what I haven't seen is <clears throat> um, a family structure that involves um, a European or like, uh, like a, 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 an upbringing that involves white people, but like a lot of black power. So wow. like my mom's white and- I love your mom. When I, <laughs> I love my mom too. <laughs> when I think about like a lot of evolu uh, uh, of, of history and um, why I'm so proud to be black and just like a lot of this stuff, I get very confused about like, do I have like resentment for my mom because she's white, you know? Which no. I I think personally I've I've dealt with it with my personal mom, but that idea of like someone who's black who has a a parent who's not black, it is like, how do you translate all of that history? It's a lot of acceptance and like forgiveness, and it really makes you able to um, see outside of yourself, but. I don't know if I've ever seen it like really built upon like how we deal with that and like how we deal with the the DNA trauma while mm. also having that DNA like that's as well. Thank you for that. I look forward to seeing what you create inside of that. <clears throat> um, so last question, you're out of my frame too. Can you just slide over just a little bit? You're getting out of my frame. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> my bad. There we go, no worries, boom. Um, so what was I gonna say to you? Um, I love that, I love that concept. I look forward to having more dialogue with you uh, around that. Um, yeah. I feel like there are more things, I, I'm just like trying to <laughs> say off top, you know? Yeah, of course, I mean, I got, I got mad questions, but I think I just wanted to be, I haven't talked to you in a while, so this is just a check-in, making yeah. sure that you're good during this time and letting people kind of see our conversations and be inspired. Oh, I know what I want to tell it to you about. We're going through character development and, and tapping into values, our personal values. And we're talking about uh, vision, vision, uh, one's vision, the vision for the world. Uh, what's your vision for the world? Um, <clears throat> like what do I wish was happening? I think so. I mean, you know, when I think of vision, it's just like, you know, seeing beyond your current circumstances uh, and, and seeing something that you can strive for, um, which keeps you going. Because if you don't have that, then you're probably going to be stuck. But you clearly have something at the end of the tunnel. What is that thing? Um, well, I think there's so many. So I have to, I guess, zoom in on one thing, but I think that that's where acting comes into play for me because playing, having to find out why someone does something in order to like portray them truthfully makes you able to step in a lot of people's shoes. And I feel like misunderstanding is one of the biggest um, setbacks that we have as a people. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to understand something we don't understand, we fear it and we run from it. And that's what creates racism. And, oppression and a lot of fear-based mentalities and so i think accurately portraying somebody and showing the humanity and how we actually all do want for the most part the same things we all believe the same that type of um connectivity i think can be can be um absorbed from really good acting or like a really good portrayal of a walk of life that someone doesn't understand and then they see it and they're like oh okay i should stop talking about this person that way or i should stop raping people because now i've seen how this person's daughter felt about her i don't know you know just like things that people wouldn't think of that when they see something that really portrays that life that they get it you know well paulina we have run out of time for this particular conversation <laughs> but I thank you for checking in with me. I'm glad that you're doing well. And um, we gotta do this more often because you're doing some big stuff and I wanna collab with you. Yes, I have, oh, yeah, I have a lot of things to talk to you about. Yeah. All right, say goodbye to the people and tell them how they can find you.
Oh, um, I Zuzu Silk on Instagram. Um, my website <laughs> is www.paulinasinger.com. Um, and I, I'm pretty good about updating my Instagram, so I guess just follow that. All right, so we got to take a picture. I got you on split screen. Let's take a picture real fast. Okay. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Let me know. Give me a three, two, one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> three, two, one. All right, cool. You got it? Yeah. So let me do a quick intro real fast. Okay. On you. Let's see. What's up, guys? It's KB, and this is the check-in. We're checking in with my girl, Paulina Singer. You don't want to miss this. She's an incredible artist, creator, and, you know, I say philanthropist. She gives of her time and her wealth and her energy all the time. And so I can't wait for you to hear what's going on with her next. Thank you. That was beautiful. All right. Thank you, P. We'll talk. Thank you. Okay, have a good